We need to set one up. Okay, where should it be put then? No clip issues. I don't need anything to explode. Please and thank you. We're talking vanilla uh, stuff, music, and gameplay. I'd say Fallout New Vegas is greater than 3. Well, okay. So, right off the bat, Fallout New Vegas is, would be superior to 3 on a just standard vanilla level because Fallout New Vegas took a bunch of popular Fallout 3 mods and just incorporated it into base game, like weapon modding. So, th that's the number one reason why I don't understand people's arguments for why Fallout 3 is better than New Vegas, because it's literally Fallout 3 gameplay, but with all of the popular mods. Like, it, it's weird, but... Some people just really like their base game, and I, I get it, it's fine. You can have your nostalgic thing, and there are some pretty fun quests in 3 that you can't get in New Vegas. But I do appreciate New Vegas, you can literally kill 99% of the characters, just because F it, have fun. Alright, we're gonna start... Oh, I'm just gonna do a full garrison effort. Give me that. And I have to roll the map over and everything. Fallout 4 Vanilla was a bit tough. There were some really fun story elements in it, though, that, I mean, they, they had the Institute mirror the Enclave pretty damn well. Probably on the ramp. You got it. Right, oh, Al, thanks for your work. Appreciate what you and the modders always do for me. I don't know. I mean, Fallout 4 for its scope, I thought was a pretty decent attempt. There were some things which I wish they expanded on, but in terms of how big they made the world, I understood what they were going for. But, I mean, with it being the most ambitious Fallout project they made, I understand why they did what they did. I just wish... I just wish they kept Death Claws being super scary. And the fact that they introduced... I think it's the pacing of the campaign, or the, the main quest line overall. They should not have introduced a Death Claw in the beginning of the game for you to murder it that easily because that just took one of the most scary things about the game as a series and just kind of ruined the fear of them you know what i mean like that's that i think is my only major gripe with fallout 4 because again there's a lot of cool stuff with it they have a lot of cool like um, a lot of cool custom stuff with it, even for vanilla. Do I think there were some really weird parts about the main story? Yes. Do I think that there should have been some Minutemen ties in with the Nuka World DLC? Yes. Do I think there could have been easier ways and decisions in the campaign? Yes. But for a Fallout Bethesda game, I thought it was all right. But I, I think the biggest mistake they made in the game was having you kill a Deathclaw in, like, the first quest. Because it completely changes your mindset of, okay, like, especially for any returning players, I don't have to worry about Deathclaws. Which you could then take and go, alright, like, what else is really scary in the wasteland? And you'll run into those damn Myrler Queens. Those are a little annoying to deal with, but... I don't know. 
like I never felt scared in that game and I didn't even put the power on that much in my first playthrough I think the only thing that annoyed me was the legendary enemies in that feature because things got on the higher uh, higher difficulties they've always been bullet spongy like when you put the game on very hard but there was always a way to like beat it out you would in Fallout New Vegas for example you would get the uh, perk that lets you make your own ammo and you would have the best ammo in the game and then you'd be really tactical about where you went and what you did with with four they just made it so that random enemy weapons could be legendary and you could get you know potentially good or interesting gear off of them but it just it made the difficulty really weird in the game itself. You know what I mean? Like it meant it, it turned any potential area into your own little death claw <laughs> sanctuary. <laughs> and if you know where that is in New Vegas, yeah. You, I hope you enjoy your remnant power armor. You missed a turret in that building? Ah. That's okay. I'll find it again because Valk does a great job for my dumbass. But we gloss over things multiple times anyhow, so. That's just my two cents. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think what annoys me the most, but I'm so sorry I did that. New Vegas, if it was given more dev time, all of the cut content that we lost, I mean, God, you'll, you'll get pissed off. New Vegas was rushed. And people don't like to remember, but the launch for New Vegas was probably one of the worst game launches, like, for its time. It's a very buggy mess. They fixed most of it. And then there's patches you can get after the fact to also fix it, but it, it, was, it was a messy launch. And I also hate the argument of people where they see a game launch and they complain about, you know, like a new live service game and the servers are completely forked. Like, there... There's been very few games that have had very solid launches. I mean, Halo 3, I remember the first night had some connectivity issues, but they patched it. And then even funnier, there's live service games like that latest Kill the Justice League game, which touted it didn't really have any connectivity issues. That's also because no one really bought it. <laughs> but I digress. But I don't think we'll ever see a game like New Vegas for a while. No, no, I'm an idiot. We had we had Baldur's Gate 3. We had Outer Worlds was okay. At least it wasn't Starfield. <laughs> Good god. I mean, when the modders for other games you make literally give up on a game because you, as a dev, are banking on the modders to fix your mistakes, I mean, that's that's when you know you fucked up. But yeah, I mean, Fallout 4 it was definitely an interesting and unique step for them. And I think they were really head set on, or dead set on a few things, which, eh, whatever. Hey, I think I found that missing turret you were talking about. Thank you for your patience with my slow ass. It is currently 3.44 in the morning. I can't remember the last time I did dev this late. Oh boy, now we have this.
Someone texted me uh, through Discord asking me, what do you say to an emo who is hanging? And I just said nothing. I get a baseball bat and play with my new pinata. And the response was, damn, Lee, your answer is worse than mine. And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Is that not the level of dark humor you were going for? <laughs> with that word choice? No? Okay, I guess I'll go F myself. How do you play in these ops? Uh, coming, type exclamation point TOC for the op we previously built half an hour ago. Uh, for this one, it would be exclamation point 31ST. Pardon my dark humor if it's not your forte. I apologize. I've been doing way too much shit today. And I am a little sleepy. And this is still going to be at least 45 minutes of dev. Because we're finding all these cute little things Valk made, like little presents. Alright, good. Those stairs are invincible. I was going to go, let's, let's make sure that's set, because... Uh, Nothing's funnier than a staircase blowing up on somebody. And you're like, oh, that was. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Smile. You know, I know what I need to do. Valk. You know that little nervous thing you pulled? The boah, or whatever. The boah. Fuck. I can't do it from memory. You know, I already have your mission file. Might as well copy your mannerisms. I will become you. A shade of you. I will absorb your identity. Let's do it. I gotta, like... <laughs> I gotta lick my lips over the... Boah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right, Valk, you got me beat on that step. Blah. Yeah, exactly. When in doubt, there is a folder. All right, I got you, buddy. I'm going to find it. Damn it, I didn't find it. Oh, well, I'll try again Tuesday. Yeah, you have two. I know. I just can't fucking copy them now. I can do the Californian yeah, but I can't do the blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. All right, let's see. Did I get them all? Or do you have some in the, uh... You probably have some in the damn, uh... Ship, too. Flubber Nugget. All right, hold on. Layer 18. Oh, fuck. That's all that stuff. I built that one, but I neutered the hell out of it so we could have, uh... Proper stuff. Nope, I missed some. Ah, great. Wait, shit, no, I needed the- Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Do we need all the turrets that are facing the other side, though? Because it's already gonna be super duper laggy. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep on this stream, I swear to god. Oh god, we've got statics all the way. I can remove these because removing the vehicles is gonna help with the frames, but hold on, let me let me clear everything back here. Cause excessive vehicles do stack on lag quite a bit. I think those are just statics, but yeah, it's except that we then we have the little murder shrine. Perfect. Ah, Doc, what you drinking? A good whiskey, bourbon. Whatever gets the job done at that point, am I right? <laughs> Just 
looking over everything and verifying. Shitty whiskey because you have a uh, Jack and shit in your fridge. Mm. I do love Jack Daniels. <laughs> All right, have a good night, Doc. It's only 4 a.m. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure Bird Eye is gonna be after me tonight, not you. So you know, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I didn't need to sleep anyway. Missed that one. Middle trench. There are four more statics. I think I just did one, so there's three more statics. Alright, so two are on the aircraft. I'm not doing the Cronus radar. Where are the other two? Honestly, do I need to do garrison work? There is so much shit already down. I mean, I do need to do some internal garrison. Ah, oh, god damn it. There's a lot of stuff. Let's look at the ship. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope, this is the AOGG, everybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lear is too EP for this shit. <laughs> I would I would just I would just retire go write freaking fan fiction for people part time but chat GPT took that away from me so you know now I'm stuck making Arma 3 scenarios because at least chat GPT can't do that yet so I'm safe I have job security for now he did warn me during Tarkov yeah I should have listened to that then I wouldn't have gotten touched by bird eye you know, Bird Eye could have just shot me. Could have just run up and went, <laughs> and just one tapped me in the face. No, Bird Eye literally ran up to me, caressed my cheek, and walked away. And then came back, wagged his ass at me. I shoot him with the Mosin, and it did nothing. That's how you flex on somebody. That's how you show someone, hey, I can do whatever I want to you at any time on any map and no one can stop me. Do you have any idea how terrifying that is? 
you have any idea how much I really don't want to play Tarkov anymore because of that? Do you have any idea how much I just want to curl up in a ball right now and fall asleep? I have to go hiking in two hours. Fuck. This is going to take more than that 45 minutes I estimated because that in underground area is freaking extensive. Ah. Oh. Yes, I know of Stalker. I know people want me to get into Stalker Gamma because there's a plugin you can put in that you can interact with me and get me murdered. I know. It's on the to-do list. But there's a lot on that to-do list. I am on okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep that thing clear. I am but one man only able to do as much as I can. What the f- Oh god, I really hope this doesn't affect pathfinding. I might put the teleporter in there. Because it gives them room to clear all this out. And then this is kind of out of the way. Because otherwise, there's no point in having this structure over here. Can't you do mitosis so you finish it easier? Can I level with you? Do you have any idea what the hell I would do with a copy of myself? I'm gonna level with you. It's not appropriate. It is absolutely, positively not appropriate. Right, just put the teleporter in there. Look, let me put it this way, all right? For eight years, I've run this channel. And for eight years, I've put up a really good facade of being somewhat of a normal person, maybe with a little bit of a wootism, you know? A little bit of a, an inappropriate side that I let bleed out on occasion. Okay, I keep that bitch bottled. <laughs> bottled and stashed away. Do you have any idea what the fuck would happen if there were two of me? First off, 50-50 we would just kill each other outright because I'm a very, very arrogant piece of shit. That would just be something that happens. But, god damn, I mean, if, if we were to survive, 
the me that would be doing this stream would probably kill the other me that convinced me to make this stream happen in the first place. And instead it would be, why didn't we get this done earlier in the week? Oh, because I was playing Tarkov. Then you fucking edit the missions. No, you do it. It's your turn. Yeah, no, that's when I would kill me. Would I fuck? No. No. No, I'd murder myself. Where did that come from? No, goddess. Jesus. Get your head out of the gutter. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm just gaslighting the shit out of you right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know, this has been done for weeks. I'm I'm not winning any awards here, okay? The rest is just gonna be garrison work. Alright, let's get this shit done. Uh depots. That's deceptive. The final area. Oh, shit. Well, that's a copy, so I need to change that. All that should be preset. Let's cut fuel values, just to make sure nothing clicks out. And honestly, everything else should be fine at that point. It should all be pre-pathed, yep, because I pre-built the garrison units to do that. Now I need to build a teleport area. And Valk, I'm assuming this is the teleport, right? This is going to be fun because I also have the proper scripts to do all this. Copy the arsenal in there because Thank you. 
So how's this oriented? We have got our right corridor, and then we go left. We got that. Comes around, then we ramp up. Dead end, dead end. Ramp up. Three way. With one way going up and around. Oh, bro. All right, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm not gonna stream to death for this. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to watch the app tomorrow morning. I need to take a quick break, just relax, but I'm getting this done before I go to bed anyway, and I'm just gonna blast Fallout music to get myself through it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. It made Valkyrie re, I love it. Otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one, and go operate operationally. Will they have free fall animations on the top? I... maybe. But I can... I think I can adjust that, but we'll figure that out. Anyway, cheers. Have a good one.